Darling, just dive right in. Follow my lead. I found a pyramid named C plus plus. And today, wait, <laughs> I didn't say C plus plus. Sorry, I meant a refraction experiment. And today, I'll be sharing it with you. Does light change direction when it changes medium? What an interesting problem, don't you think? All right. So here's our apparatus for this experiment. We have two jugs right over here, and there's no cheating, no CDI. This is full of air, aside from the occasional dust particle you'll find or two. Now, the thing is, we have one big boy, which is filled with water. So what is the medium, what is the material over here? It's air. But what is the medium and big boy? It's water. Already, you can start to notice some oddities once I dip my fingers into the water. First of all, my fingers are starting to look dummy thick. Second of all, my fingers just look like they're bent and like enlarged. Look like somebody chopped off my fingers, then inflated them and reattached them. Uh, well, not in the right way. At least. And that's a fraction of these, these mediums. It is what? Air has an index of a fraction or n of 1. But what about big boy over here? Well, big boy, the water has a refractive index of 1.33, which is high. Keep that in mind, won't ya? Won't ya? Right. So now we have our diagram over here, which says that the left one should be left empty and the right one should be full of water mamma mia a pasta recipe <laughs> i'm not italian i can't mimic that accent all right so let's pour this and here are our jugs mamma mia that's some tasty pasta all right so now let's add something pivotal to this pencils let's dip them in They'll serve as our object, serve as good objects, because they're thick, which is exactly what we need. Now, the thing is, in jug number one over here, we have just one medium, that is air. But in jug number two, we have a tiny bit of water and a very large amount of uh, <coughs> water. Now, I don't want to spill this water by just cramming my hand in here. But, well, you can see the thing. And the thing is, with jug number one, air, water, speed, I mean light speed, is consistent but in number two it goes fast in air like this but then it slows down in water see i told you i used to remember that index of refraction <laughs> all right and that's what causes this little bend because light is prompted to go at a lesser velocity that prompts a change in direction from the light and so it changes parties from Republican to that. Oh, oh, we don't talk about that on this show. All right. Oops. Let's add one over here and one over there. But the thing is, you noticed the pencil gets bent right over here. You can see. And even from the top, it looks bent. So right over here, you can see this little anomaly you could call it. So I'll just do it that way. And this is the normal line, which we'll draw in a different color, actually. <laughs> Funky. All right. So as you can see, the index, well, not the index, the angle of incidence, which is uh, commonly called, oop, not that, data i. The angle of incidence, which is also called theta i, is much bigger than this tiny, teeny theta uh, reflection. So, the thing is, you can notice theta, theta, theta to be greater than theta, 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 which is actually theta i is greater than theta r. The, the red n is obviously bigger than the green n. Red V is greater, uh, actually greater, than green V. 
Oh, sorry. I made a calculation mistake. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the alligator by the neck and then flip it upside down by force. Take the alligator by the neck, flip it upside down by force. There we go. Perfect solution. If you want to change your alligator numbers, just take the alligator by the head. That's what they always do in Florida, right? Should get my phone out and tweet something. All right. So, you can see mm, that uh, V is greater than V. Did I just say that? Red V is greater than green V. V, 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 V. All right. How? Well, red V is simple. Red V is just C because N is 1. So, V is at its full power. And now, N actually matters, just like you, after learning this. And so, that would be 3 times 10 to the 8 over 1.33, which is 2.25 times 10 to the 8. Good job. We've achieved it, we proved it, and now it's time to drink this unfiltered water that has all the crap and rat crap from the sewer. <laughs>